Well, welcome back to Channel One. Today I'm going to be working on a Ryobi snow thrower. Uh, the uh, customer sent this in, and let me see if I can do this. I'm in the wrong studio for this. The other studio has got heating problems, so when I go to turn it on, it's not spinning like it should be. I hear the motor running in there, but uh, nothing is actually happening in here. So let's go ahead and tear it apart and see what we can do. All right. So where this is detachable, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the power head so I can get a little bit more room in here. So I think all I need to do is just kind of push that there and remove that and we can get rid of this piece. Now, like I said, I could hear the motor spinning in here, uh, but nothing here was going. So what we'll do is we'll pop the side cover off here and see what it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and remove this. Looks like a 13 millimeter nut. Okay, let's see what we got. Well, it appears as though the belt just fell off, but why? I'm not sure. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just see if we can put that back on. Alright, so there's a spring pushing down on it, that's just a tensioner, and uh, so it's back on. So all we'll do is we'll just kind of put it back together and see, uh, see if that takes care of it. Uh, I don't see anything broken, nothing misaligned, uh, so let's go ahead and just see what happens when we fire this up after I put the side cover back on. I can feel the tension on there now. All right, let's go ahead and put the power head back on and see, it, uh, see what it does. Can't imagine that pushing any snow <laughs> or, or, uh, or throwing it. But there it is, working. I may have to go try this. <laughs> All right, well, there it is on the uh, Ryobi snow thrower, uh, 40 volt. Uh, I don't know exactly why the belt would have fallen off. Maybe they were just trying to push more than they should have on it. But there we go, quick fix, and I'll take it back to the customer, and uh, hopefully it doesn't come back. <laughs> Thanks an awful lot for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.